Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tosca SAP Automation Tutorial. As you all know, I have already published 9 YouTube sessions covering different topics of SAP Automation by using latest version Tricentis Tosca 16. So this is our lesson 10 where I am going to teach you about SAP Toolbar Module and SAP Menu Module. Which means by using these standard modules, how can you steer or how can you automate the test cases that requires an interaction with your SAP toolbar and that requires an interaction with your SAP menu. Okay. So please do subscribe to the channel, click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you. Okay, if you see on the screen, in the first screenshot on top, you have a SAP toolbar where you have enter, save, print, find functions, all these functions, right? So I'm going to teach you how can we steer these functions by using a module called SAP toolbar module in the task of. And also, if you see in the second screenshot, there is a menu bar, menu, edit, favorites, extra system, right? So this menu, how can you steer or interact with your SAP menu also by using a standard module called SAP menu standard module. Okay, so now let's jump onto the system and let me show you how can we automate test cases that needs a that needs interaction between uh, with the SAP toolbar and SAP menu. Okay, so this is my present is Tosca latest version 16. Okay, so where we have already completed nine YouTube videos, right? I have already published nine YouTube videos covering different concepts. Okay, for every session, we have created one test case. And then I have showed you how to automate and everything, right? Okay. So now, um, so for this lesson, first let us understand our first agent item is SAP toolbar. How can we steer the SAP toolbar, right? So let me open the SAP GUI. Okay. I already logged into SAP GUI. I have connected to my IDES external connection by providing username and password. And I landed to my SAP easy access menu. Okay. So here, if you see on top, right, this is your SAP toolbar with different functions available. Okay. So this SAP toolbar consists of a search bar where you are be, you will be providing your transaction code so that you can land onto the screen related to that particular transaction code and also you have a save back button log off exit find and print right all these functions and options are available on sap toolbar now how can you interact with tosca how can you interact with this particular toolbar functions okay so as i mentioned earlier so sap whenever sorry the tricentis whenever you install your tricentis there is a standard module is being provided by tricentis tosca inbuilt standard modules okay so if you go to modules and then expand your standard modules under tbox engine there is a module called SAP. So this SAP module, under SAP module, you have lot of standard modules, out of which SAP toolbar is one standard module, okay, which has all the functions that you need to, that you want to perform by using your SAP toolbar. The transaction code, and the buttons enter, save, click. So whatever the functions that you would like to perform, you can use this inbuilt standard module 
instead of scanning this particular toolbar over and on over and over again and again while automating your test cases so instead of scanning them again and again you can simply use an existing sap standard module called sap toolbar okay so now how can we use this sap standard module so if you go back here see let us assume if i want to land onto um, probably sales order initial screen so generally what we provide forward slash n this what it will do it exits your it's going to leave your existing transaction and it's going to create a new transaction it's going to open a new transaction okay i want to land on va01 which is your sales order initial screen and then as soon as you enter these values you have to hit enter in the sap toolbar click on enter so this will take you to sales order initial screen and then provide order type correct uh, you are going to provide order type and then sales organization as 1000 and then your channel as 12 let's assume and your division as 00, zero okay and then once you provide all this you again you need to interact with your standard toolbar and hit enter as soon as you hit enter you will be landing on to the next page called overview create standard order overview right so now how can you perform all these functions whatever we just now uh, performed right how can you perform by using Tosca. How can you automate this scenario? Let's see now. Okay. So let us go back to Tosca. And here, let's go back to test cases. So I already created one test case called 10 steering SAP toolbar generate and verify sales order. Okay. And I already pulled SAP logon and SAP login modules to my test case which will open your SAP and it's going to log in by using username and password. So I would recommend you guys to visit my previous videos. I mean, I think first or first session or second session, I explained all these very simple um, login function automation. Okay. So now open transaction for open transaction. What we need to do first, you need to enter some values in the search bar. Correct. For that, let us go to modules, drag this and, and place this here, right side. And now, how to open the transaction? By using the SAP toolbar, I have to enter the transaction code in the search bar, right? So for that, let's drag and drop here, right? And name this as enter transaction code okay so here expand this here i need to enter a transaction code correct as forward slash n va01 correct and then what is the button that we need to click on i need to click on enter button so if you see in the modules all the buttons are already captured as part of the standard module correct so you can select the corresponding button here see i want to perform enter select enter so that is done and now once you hit enter what will do you are going to land on to create sales order screen correct for that what you need to do you have to go to your scanned modules we already scanned sap gui okay here there is a module called this one initial screen see this is my module drag and drop here and here let's enter the order type as or as i showed you earlier and sales organization as thousand 
and your distribution sorry sales organization as 1000 and your distribution channel as 12 right let's me yeah 12 sales organization okay so enter and then once you enter the values again you have to hit enter correct again i need sap toolbar here the module called sap toolbar drag this and again drag it here and here now this time i need not to enter any transaction i just need to hit enter correct so let's name this as hit enter to save sales order correct so done now let us save this and then let's run this okay before that let me log off from here log off and close this now let us run this test case now okay right click so once you log in what we are doing we are opening one transaction and then what is the transaction create sales order initial screen and then we are entering uh, the sales order initial screen values and again we are performing a sap toolbar function and this is also sap toolbar function right so right click and run in scratch book so this will open your sap gui and then it's going to start interacting your sap toolbar functions okay so it is opening sap gui and then it opened a connection right logging in and now you need to see it entered search bar and then it is going to enter entered yes so basically it is successfully interacting with your sap toolbar okay so hope you all understand how to use your sap toolbar standard module okay how can you steer your sap toolbar functions right now what is our next agenda how can you interact with sap menu okay so now let's understand that so if you observe closely right this sap menu is not constant so based on the screen it changes let's say let's go back here okay let's go back to our initial screen see when you are in create sales order initial screen your menu is different compared to when you are in this screen right so it's keep on changing see initial screen the menu is different as soon as you go to initial sales order the menu is different and then as soon as you go to the next sales order overview right again the menu gets changed so now but handling this menu is almost similar in every screen okay so now let us understand how can we interact with sap menu okay so let's go back to our tricentis tosca if you go to your modules let's drag and drop modules here in sap standard modules as we saw for the sap2 bar in the same way there is a standard module called sap menu okay this has been provided by tricent tosca by default okay so we need to use this standard module called sap menu to interact with your dynamic menu bar okay so now let us so in my previous uh, explanation while we are doing this sap toolbar right so we have already automated one end to end test case where this one right until we entered the overview right initial order overview and then we hit enter right sorry create sales order initial screen and then we hit enter now so once you land on to create standard order overview here what we need to perform see our 
next agenda is you need to fill this overview form and then interact with the menu SAP menu okay so let's fill this overview form 1175 and send it to party also 1175 okay and then PO number let's say the PO number I want to make it as 123 okay and I want to enter the item so the tables right here under the table uh, let's say item number 2 and your material is M08 and your unit is let's say units 5 okay and once this is done order quantity okay sorry the, your order quantity is 5 and your unit is ST okay so once you enter these details you are gonna hit enter again once you hit enter again you will get a net value okay so let's say what is what happens it's gonna give you a net value okay so once you get the net value you need to you need to interact with your menu bar here how you need to click on go to and you need to hit header and then you need to go to sales okay as soon as you hit sales you will be landing on to this particular page so now let's automate this particular scenario okay interacting with the menus okay so now let's go back to our tricentis task car and here let me copy this test case and paste it here and this one let's rename this as instead of SAP toolbar I'm going to name this as menu okay and here once we complete this one right so now let's again let's put the module aside okay see once you finish entering initial screen now you need to enter your header data okay so for that we already scanned all the screens so this one header data drag okay let me before let's create one new folder here okay called overview okay so now let's drag and drop this header data here okay so here under header data oh sorry not this one let's do one more thing this one overview drag and drop here okay here I'm gonna enter okay something is wrong give me a minute data fields okay I think let's delete this okay I think this one enter data will see this one okay drag and drop your enter data in fields okay this is the module that we have to use for this okay sold party so let's enter the sold party as 1175 1175 against ship to party 1175 PO number 123 and here the table under table here I want to select my first row and here my cell value first column is item correct my first cell is item what is the item it's a 2 and then my second cell is second column is material and here the material is what it's m hyphen m hyphen 08 and the next one is order quantity the order quantity is I want to enter as 5 and then your order sorry and your unit okay and your unit is so this is unit unit is st okay 
So here, instead of verify, I need to change all these as input, correct? Input, 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 okay? So once you enter all this, again you are going to hit enter. For this again, SAP toolbar is required. Drag and drop here. And rename this as hit enter okay so here once I hit enter see I have to select enter now I have to use SAP menu right to go to my sales order correct go to header sales correct let's drag and drop my menu and here, how to specify SAP menu, let me tell you guys, okay? So here, in the SAP menu, all you need to do is, here, so, first you need to click on go to, right? So here, you need to specify go to, and then hyphen greater than symbol, okay? go to hyphen greater than symbol what is your next header so that means here you need to specify header okay and then once you hit header then sales so again hyphen greater than symbol sales so this will take you to the sales screen right so now let's just run this and see how what happens okay right click and run in scratch book see it now landed onto sales screen so that means it is working correctly correct so that means you are able to interact with the menu correct so hope you all understand how can you steer the SAP toolbar and how can you see steer SAP menu by using standard modules called SAP toolbar standard module and SAP menu standard module. If you have any queries, leave your queries in the comment box. I'll try to respond to your queries. Thank you. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. Thank you.